Hey, good morning, it's Carol. I wanted to do an unboxing video because I have a, an order that I received during my uh, Valentine's Day sale. And this is going to be for a collector, so it's going to be a hand-signed print. And then I'm taking it to my custom framer and we're going to mat it, frame it, um, use UV glass, uh, it's the whole high-end treatment. And today's the day that I'm going to uh, unbox it and sign it and then I'll be off this afternoon to the framers. So here we are. This is a 13 by 19 inch paper print and it arrived from my print vendor in a really big box. It's a lot bigger than 13 by 19 inches. So I'm kind of curious to see if uh, How they packed it but this, this company packs things beautifully so I know they've done a really good job. That's my knife which I very carefully do not want to gouge my new print with. Paper packing. Back up here, we can see a little bit better. We have a big sheet of cardboard, and attached to the sheet of cardboard is my print, which is packaged in plastic for more protection. So I have a great deal of confidence in this company that when they ship my uh, fine art prints to me that they do a wonderful job packaging. So I think you can see the plastic wrap has folded up and I have to undo a little bit of tape. One thing I always have to watch out for is the tape. If you leave the sticky side up and then you accidentally bump the front of your print with the sticky side, you can ruin it. So actually take the sticky side and fold it back on itself. We did some serious taking here. There we go. I was doing it the wrong way. scissors handy for this. Okay, I have freed my print. Still wrapped in plastic. Here it is. Uh, I named this Light at the End of the Tunnel. Last year when I released this print, it was um, the beginning of January and I named it Here's to 2021 because I thought 2021 was going to be a better year than 2020. Um, in retrospect, that didn't really work out, and I think light at the end of the tunnel is a more appropriate name. So the next step is I have to sign this print with my signature, hand signed. This is a step that makes me very nervous. 
I have this beautiful print, and I'm always afraid I'll get an ink blot on it or, you know, do an awkward signature. So I actually have a little notepad here. I'm going to practice my signature a couple of times before I... There we go. Upside down. Let's turn it over. This is printed on a fine art paper from a company that has been making paper since the 1500s, if you can believe it. It's a uh, company called Hannah Mueller, and it's a fine art Berita paper that I really like for um, reproducing color. It's got a lot of uh, strength to the paper, takes color beautifully. And I like to print it with the white border because that gives me a way to handle the print without getting my fingerprints on the actual image. It also lets me sign down here in the border. And then we like to frame it with what I call a reveal, just showing a little bit of that white border all around with the signature, then the map, then the frame. So, set that down for a moment. Get my pen out. This part of the process is pretty nerve wracking, actually. I really, <laughs> I really hate doing that part. So let's see. We'll see, I'm going to move the camera up a little bit, and I don't think you're going to be able to watch me sign this because, let's try this. my print upside down and there we go let it dry off a little bit and thanks for watching and Maybe I'll get a little better at this unboxing in the future. Bye.